Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, I tell you my two game changers for riding in winter. Cue the intro. Okay, so we all know what it's like. You look out the window and you think it doesn't look too bad. You know it's cold, but you're desperate to ride. You even consider asking your granddad if you can borrow his old long johns to keep your legs warm. But you can't be bothered. You put on a jumper, you head out. You've got your favorite gloves on, the beautiful, beautiful gloves. You love wearing all year round, dead comfy. And you head off. You walk outside, you get on your bike, go, oh, it's a bit chilly. So you start riding, but you're aiming to go to one of your favorite places. You just like to chill out, get into your zone and relax. But you get 10 minutes down the road and you start to feel a bit cold. You know that feeling, the wind chill, steep seeping through the jacket, your core starts getting cold and your hands start getting cold, your legs start getting cold and you're starting to not enjoy it. And then 20 minutes later, and you are freezing. You're starting to get the old teeth chattering. And the only thing you want to do is get off that bike in somewhere warm, like a pub and have a beer. And then you're dreading that ride home. And that's your day. You don't want to go any further. You have had enough. And the only thing you want to do is not use your bike again. Well, after doing some of the big adventures that I've done, I've come up, in my opinion, with two game changers. The two things that will make riding a motorbike, in my opinion, doable. Let me explain. Okay, so my two game changers, my two very simple game changers. For me, it's the core, first of all, because this is the bit where if anything ever happens to you, all your blood rushes to, to try and keep all those organs going. So for me, I want to keep warm inside. So I bought the bit of kit, and the thing is, there is loads of these out there, all different brands, all different prices, and all I go around and say is, yes, yeah, some are better than others, look at the reviews and obviously buy the one that will keep the core warm and i'll explain all the little features and the reasons why i explain how it works in my head when we get going again but anyway so my key thing is to take this off take the jumper that i expected to keep me warm on and change that for the heated vest because that is number one of the game changer to be able to ride in winter conditions and i'm talking freezing winter conditions so time to get changed Okay, so this is a heated Oxford vest and it literally plugs into the battery of the bike that it comes with the connection. You undo your two battery terminals, you put it on and you do it up. And then you run the wire underneath your seat, you make sure it's as hidden as much as possible that you can get access to it. You plug it in and it's got free heat settings. Now again, I have my version of what the free heat settings mean and I'll tell you about that when we get going. So that's core cool one, jumper back on, jacket back on, get warm. And then there's number two. Okay, number two, the big game changer. Now I know straight away those people are gonna say, just put heated grips on. But I'm gonna explain 
why I don't really like heat grips. They are great, but they don't do what I need them to do. But my game changer, number two, is heated gloves. Now these bad boys are battery operated. And again, they come with the three different settings. They're really cool to use. And they get really warm and they heat the whole of your hand up. And again, loads of brands, loads of different prices. These aren't mega expensive ones, but they do the job absolutely perfectly. And I'm only gonna be using them in winter. But again, do your research. There is loads of brands and loads of choices. The more money you spend, the better quality you're gonna get. But what's important, you get the bike ones, the ones that are armor protected, the ones that you know if you're gonna come off aren't just gonna split apart. So these bad boys are my big tip number two. Now I'm gonna jump on the bike and I'm gonna explain all of my reasons why I pick just these two things to keep me riding through winter. Oh, do you know what? I just need to get this plugged in and on. I'm actually, you do that thing when you're trying to show people on a video where you generally ride and then you sit there and you go, oh my gosh, I'm so cold. I can't wait, I need to get this bad boy on. Come on, baby. So three settings, I'm just gonna go for max in the beginning, warm this up. I'm at that point where you know when you'd go home, you'd probably then spend the next kind of like two hours in a thick woolly jumper with your heat and on max because you're just freezing. Oh my giddy on. Oh yes, get these bad boys on, get them going. Oh yeah, full heat with you bad boys. Just get me warm. Oh. Oh, I can already feel that one getting hot. Oh, that's so good. Right, let's get moving. And then I'm gonna explain why these are the ones for me. Okay, so for me, buying the heated vest is vital. Now, if you go back and watch the series I did in Scotland last year, I was riding in freezing temperatures. I rode up a mountain and if it wasn't for this heated vest. I honestly, I would have been freezing and I can already feel it getting hot now. <laughs> it's so nice. And there is loads of brands. Why I pick Oxford, and I've literally bought all of these. No, none of these products for a change have been sent. And I picked that because Oxford is a well-known brand. They're good at what they do, and they're not massively expensive like some of the others. I'm not going to slag off brands because I get sent some stuff for free. You know, you, they might get put off being in contact. But anyway, so that, that's got three settings on this, and I like to think of these three settings as certain things. Now I know it's free heat settings, but I look at it like it's a skinny woman giving me a hug, a slightly chubby woman on medium giving me a hug, and then the almighty fat lady is snuggling into you. And there's heat on the front, around the belly, and there's heat on the back, and it just warms all that core of the jack up. I'm in this wax jacket, it is not a warm day. It looks okay, but it is not a warm day. And that is just cuddling me. Nice fat lady cuddle and keeping me snug. And that is my reason I go for the heated vest. My core is warm. That is the most important part of the body is that core. And oh, it's good. Oh, the rest of it can be pretty cold other than my hands. So when it comes down to my hands, what I'll turn around and say is, is that, and this is the big thing, the reason why I like heated gloves more than heated grips. Now I've always had heated grips and when you're Tre like when you're trekking on like a on like a touring trip and you've got to do some mile munching and you're hitting those of course legal speeds of 70 miles per hour you get wind chill i had hang out hand guards on my triumph tiger when i took that there and i had my heated grips on full and yet hands are warm but the outside of your hands right around the knuckles is still cold and yeah, it works, but you kind of still get that kind of chill on the outside. And it's like, ah, oh, you either hold on to red hot grips to try and get that all warm or not. And again, they're great. I wouldn't say don't buy. If you've got them and they come with a lot of bites, they are brilliant. But I'd still buy heated gloves because it's all through the fingers, the outside of the hands. You can just feel right now, I can just feel that heat coming into them, warming them up all the way through. So I don't literally no wind chill at all. And again, it's got the free heat settings. And again, I would like to say they're like a skinny lady, a chubby lady and a fat lady cuddling your hands. But what this does, it's almost like for the hands, like getting near to that fire, getting really near and then getting so close, you're like, oh, that's hot. That's what that does. It can give you that kind of real burn hot feeling that you need to get your sort of hands working again. 
And that's pretty much it. It's that simple. For me, my hands and my core are my most important. And I can ride from like across the UK using this stuff because it keeps me warm. And then straight away, people are going to turn around and go, but battery powered gloves. And why battery powered? So let me explain why I literally bought battery heated gloves. And there's sort of an important reason for this. On a small bike like this, I wouldn't want heated gloves running on full whack and a heated vest because it's going to kill the battery still. At least that's what I worry about. So for me, that's partly the reason, but it's not the real big reason. The real big reason for me is quite simply that, and people will argue with this, they'll go, well, batteries are going to run out. These should last on medium heat for about seven hours. And let's be honest, after seven hours, I'm ready to stop riding. And the other thing that someone's going to turn around and say straight away is, is that, that, well, they're going to run out, you know, again, even if you have to go that bit further or you're stopped short or you're having to do like a 12 hour day. Let me explain how much a pack of batteries are for these gloves, okay? Because I've bought some and they are about 33 to 35 quid on Amazon for another pack of batteries for these gloves. Obviously, they can be expensive other places, shop around, you know what you're doing. But that's it. They are about that 35 pound mark. For a second set, of set, second set now on full power, say they last for four, then you can wipe the others in and you've got another four. I still very rarely, rarely can see people doing in winter more than eight hours. So you get two packs, you are 100% covered. Jobs are good, and that's what it's about. It's about being covered and being warm. So right now, I just feel, I just feel good. I feel really good. I'm out. It's a cold day. I got freezing cold earlier. My chest is warm my hands are warm and the rest of me quite likes the coolness <laughs> actually hitting it my legs i like them being a little bit colder because this is roasting so i'm getting cuddled it's nice oh i like the fat girl cuddling me it feels good it feels really good so the thing is with the heat sorted <laughs> i can't keep saying it the warmth coming in of these gloves is just lovely and the warmth around my belly and my back is snuggly so with both these coming in, being happy, it means I can ride and get to enjoy this. It's like all good things. Let's cue the enjoyment of riding in winter, in the cold, with heated gear. Montage. Let's go.
there you go. There are the two really cool things that I like to wear while I'm winter riding. And the difference is honestly, it's massive. Having that chest and that back warm in that core is just absolutely bliss when it's freezing cold outside. And then the heated gloves all around the hands, honestly, for me, make a massive difference. I really like them. And I know it's a tough choice and I know they're expensive, but buy them once and they last for absolutely ages. Those spare batteries aren't as expensive as people say. And then the other side of it as well, if I could have heated grips and heated gloves oh perfect but heated gloves by themselves are fantastic anyway what i want to turn around and now say is a massive thank you for those people those people that have subscribed to the channel if you haven't please do so a thumbs up and the nice comment i like the point of seeing those fantastic comments the positivity towards this channel is absolutely fantastic and of course if you're interested in helping support this channel there is the merch shop if you want to wear the helmet head t-shirt you want to turn around and say i want a helmet head key ring i want a helmet head water flask or a helmet head mug where everything tastes not proven guaranteed Guaranteed one zillion times better. It's like basically pouring wa water into a cup and it tastes of the finest, finest Moe wine that's on sale today. Now, that's all available in the merch shop. There is literally down there is a list of everything from the gear that I use to the shop and of course the patrons, the guys, the core of this channel, the guys that really help fund this channel. Every month they send some hard earned money and basically that money goes towards kits, supporting this channel and funding hopefully the next crazy adventure as soon as we can get those hotels booked it's gonna be cool and i can't wait literally as soon as hotels open up i'm gonna be booking a crazy adventure anyway a big thing about the patrons i want to turn around and say is like every single month like i said is they send money and these guys are supporters and there's some real cool guys out there there is of course cb hornet gallivanting you guys are a legend hoppo the big tier patron the man that helps support this channel that you've seen a few times the guy's just cool and then you know like steve who made me a lord and then you've got ian and you've got abby you've got k wheels you've got andy todd and it goes on and on and of course you've got gray and bees hold our new patron the guy is an absolute legend there is eight patrons you guys are all legends at the minute and their list are in the credits those guys are the people that help bring this to us every single week so thanks guys i do appreciate it and of course the last piece of wisdom i can pass on to you during this time and it's the most important thing in life to remember eat pies ride motorcycles be happy i will see you in the next crazy adventure bye bye for now